Hello everyone, this is Michael over at Fly Grip, and I wanted to do a video talking about what's the best phone for you. Now, I'm not talking about features, I'm not talking about operating system, I'm strictly talking about what is most ergonomic for you, specifically for you. Everyone's hand is different, everyone's eyesight is different, everyone's length of their arm is different, and I don't think any of these handset makers ever even talk about the benefits of their different size phones. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna discuss it because I'm not sure if anyone's ever really put that much thought into it. But here is the original iPhone, the original. So it's three and a half inch display. Here's an S2 at four and a half and five and a half for the Note 2. Now back in the day when this hit the market, people loving it and uh, got used to it. You know, got used to the touch screen. Never thought anything of it. But if you notice. Uh, at least I do on the streets, you see people holding this phone and when they're interacting with it, it's sometimes maybe 10 or 12 inches from their face, you know, they're slowly pinching and zooming and trying to read their article. And like I said, it's very close to their face, whereas as you get bigger, it could be a little bit further away from your face. And if it is that close to your face, you're just going to see that much more. And then as you get even bigger, even further away. Now, let's take this one out of the picture and let's just compare these two. Side by side, at the same distance, you could see a huge difference in display. But for, like this camera doesn't quite show it as much, but as I bring this thing closer, alright, now technically they look the same size. Um, and on camera it's showing it's about 8 inches away but I think it has something to do with the focal length of the lens but in reality when you're not looking through a camera lens it's closer to about 12 to 14 inches away and they, they look the same size. Now keep in mind when you're doing that and you want to see the same amount of information let's disregard resolution and stuff like that but you have to now keep this phone that much closer to you and what happens is it's not as comfortable as your hand. Your hand is much more comfortable when it's out here like this and especially with the fly grip on it it just lays in your hand nicely at a, at a good arm length away and very comfortable. Whereas this yeah if it's an arm length away it's just as comfortable but it's that much smaller. So it's harder to read what you need to read and interact that way. So I wanted to kind of discuss that with you guys and see what you thought. Another thing to consider when picking out a phone is Remember, this is a display for providing information to you, but it is also your input device. So keep in mind that the smaller the phone, the more, the more cramped you're going to be when you're trying to type on it, whereas the bigger phone, it's a lot, it's a lot easier. And like I said, the bigger phones, I, I know a lot of people who don't have fly grips pretty much always use it like this and peck at it and, and maybe type like this. But when you do have the fly grip on it, it makes typing so much easier. And I'm sure a lot of fly grip owners will vouch for me on that. Um, so keep that in mind. It's not only a, a display for, for you viewing, but it's an input device as well. So more comfortable when it's further away. Your, your arm is less stressed. Your elbow is more relaxed as opposed to being bent, trying to put this close to your face. And once again, people walking in the streets with this thing 10 inches away from their face. It's kind of dangerous. You don't see what's going on around you. Um, the further away, the more social you are. You're not giving your phone so much attention. Uh, something to consider. Um, that's pretty much the, my point of this video. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about this topic. And uh, I don't know if you've ever given it much thought. But I figured I would throw it out there and see what happens. Well, thanks a lot, everyone. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, I'll talk to you later.